Hi everyone, today's video is going to be all about my luxury dad sandals. Kind of sounds weird saying luxury and dad sandals in the same sentence, but here we are. Now, I've only had them for one season. However, ever since I moved to the city, I have been walking a lot. So I've walked a combined distance of maybe 200 kilometers in these sandals, which is something like 140 miles. I'm not sure I'm European, I think in kilometers, but what I'm trying to say is that I've been walking a lot in these sandals. So I feel like I have a pretty good understanding on what to expect from these sandals. In this video, we are going to go through it all. Sizing, pricing, comfort, quality, and at the end of the video, I will also give my personal preference. I'll also rank them in certain categories just for the fun of it, and expect the unexpected, there are going to be a couple of surprises. So let's start. Okay, so first let's talk about sizing and pricing, and let's start with the sandals that I believe started it all, the Chanel Dad Sandals. This particular pair is from the 2021 pre-spring summer collection. And these, in my opinion, run true to size. I do want to mention that I had seen in other reviews from the very first few releases that they used to run small. So if you're planning to buy these pre-loved, double check with the reseller if that particular pair runs true to size. Also, I've seen other people with a narrow foot buy half a size down. Personally, I can also get away with half a size up. And that's because of the beauty of the adjustable Velcro straps. But in my opinion, the safest bet is to take your usual size. The price of these breaks the bank. They start at 1,250 euros, which is, it's ludicrous. It's absolutely crazy to pay that much for a pair of sandals. Moving on to Dior. And I believe that the sizing of these is identical to Chanel's. They run true to size. However, if you have a narrow foot, you could potentially go half a size down. And if you have a regular foot or a wide foot, you could potentially also go half a size up. But once again, the safest bet and what I would personally recommend is just taking your usual size. As regards to the price, these start at 890 euros which is somewhat 30% less than Chanel's, but they are still crazy expensive. And finally, there is the Hermes pair of dad sandals. Now these most certainly run small. I haven't seen a single person take their usual size with these shoes. Everyone always takes at least one size up or even two sizes up. I had initially ordered size 41, I'm usually a size 40, and I felt that I needed to size up. So at the end, I ended up with size 42. I know it sounds like I'm Bigfoot, but I'm really not. They just, they run small. So be sure to size up. As regards to the price, these are the least expensive out of all three pairs. They start at 530 euros for women and 550 euros for men. This particular pair is from the men's section. Okay, now let's talk about comfort. And spoiler alert, they are all super comfortable. I mean, they're dad sandals, they're supposed to be comfortable. However, when I thought about ranking them, I had a clear idea on which I would rank first, second, and third. So guess what? Dior takes the first place. And I think it's because of two reasons. The incredibly soft lambskin leather and the quality of the sole. Both of them combined make it extremely comfortable to walk in these sandals. This is definitely the most comfortable pair of sandals that I have ever owned. So in terms of comfort, Dior is definitely the winner. In the second place, I have Chanel. And it's not because they're uncomfortable, because as I said, all three pairs are super comfortable. However, this pair is noticeably heavier, and I think it's because of the sole. The sole of these sandals is very stiff and inflexible, so you kind of have to get used to walking in these. And that's because you simply cannot bend your feet in these. Once you get used to it, it's all good, they become very comfortable, but you have to get used to them. I have placed Hermes in the third place because they have the exact same issue with the sole 
as Chanel. On top of that, it's also a slide. So for me personally, it took a bit longer to get used to these than with the Chanel dad sandals. Once again, all three pairs are super comfortable. I haven't had a single blister when wearing these sandals. So comfort is not something to worry about. Now let's talk about quality. And here I also felt that I had a very clear winner, Hermes. Out of the three pairs, I really feel like this pair is going to last me tens and tens of years. I'll be probably still wearing these sandals when I'm a grandma, if I get to live that long. They have impeccable quality, which is something, of course, that you would expect from Hermes. The sole, the inner sole, the straps, they're all in a nearly perfect condition. So quality-wise, it was clear to me immediately that Hermes is the winner. The second place goes to Chanel and now let me tell you why. The straps and the inner sole have maintained great quality after heavy use because I really, really use these. However, the sole is a completely different story. The heel on the right sandal has developed a mouth. Now, let me show you. Don't look at the sole because it's dirty. Just look at this little mouth. It's insane. It's absolutely crazy. Worst part is that I don't even know when it happened because I don't remember tripping backwards or anything, you know, because how else? could you get this type of mouth on the back of your heel? You would have to trip. I don't really remember tripping anywhere, especially not backwards. So that's really weird and also really disappointing. This is something that can be fixed. I don't know if Chanel would help me repair them. Worst case, I could take them to a cobbler, but that would be an additional cost for an already insanely overpriced pair of sandals. I get that they've tried to make them feel luxurious by making them heavy, but that means nothing if I'll have to change the sole every season. So that's something that I really did not expect. In the third place I have Dior and the Dior pair is the complete opposite of Chanel. The sole is definitely the best part of the sandals. I mean, it's dirty, but it has great quality. However, the soft and gorgeous lambskin leather is extremely delicate. On the very first day I wore these, I tripped on the stairs and I didn't fall. It wasn't like a big trip. My foot just slipped a little bit and it immediately left a mark at the very front of the sandals. When I first looked down, I was just shocked. Let me show you. So it's not very big, like you can't even see it from a distance, but every time I look down, I personally see it. I see that it's there. To damage them so quickly was so disappointing, especially because of the price. The inner sole has also rubbed off quite a bit in the heel area, but that doesn't bother me as much as, for example, someone stepping on my foot, like they would just destroy these sandals. This is where Chanel wins over Dior because I think that repairing the leather would be much harder than replacing the sole on the Chanel pair. Please don't come at me with the I told you so's about the lambskin leather because I have actually had great experiences with lambskin leather, with both bags and shoes. So I think it's just how the lambskin leather is processed and Dior definitely has room for improvement because for this price, the leather should be so much more durable. Okay, guys, now let me share my personal preferences. Overall, I would put the Dior sandals in the third place. Let me start off by saying that I do not regret buying these. Knowing myself, I would probably repurchase this pair because of how much fun I have styling these sandals. Are they worth the money? No. Will I be running around recommending these sandals? No. Have I enjoyed having them? Yes. They're absolutely great sandals, but there's definitely a lot of space for improvement. In the second place, I have Hermes. And from a rational perspective, as rational it can be for luxury designer items, this pair is the only one worth buying. It's a great design. They're very easy to style. The quality is great. They're also very comfortable and the wear and tear after a lot of use is minimal. And of course, the price point of these is also great. If I'll ever have a chance to buy these in a different color, I would buy them in a second. So why did I choose to put Chanel in the first place? These sandals give me butterflies and you can't really put a price tag on that. It's like when you're in love, you can hardly make rational decisions. And the design and comfort combination of these sandals is just 
everything to me. Maybe they won't last me as long as I thought they would. It's very likely that they won't, but I enjoy wearing them so much that I focus on the right now rather than will I be able to wear them in 20 years, you know? Is it acceptable that there's that much wear and tear after such a short amount of time? No. Would I buy more pairs if they were offered to me? I would like to say that I wouldn't, but honestly, I can't make any promises. Okay, guys, so that's it for my video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I do love talking about fashion. So let's stay in touch and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Stay safe.